have a conversation with us. Because if we got to come up with it, we're going to look like fucking morons. All right, action. Well, I'm John Lehman. Alex. <laughs> Alex has warrants. He's <laughs> yeah, I try to keep my last name out of it. And we're as found customs and extra careful nice boys towing. It's awesome out here on a bike that can hit the highway and the trail. I just like to, like, I'll ride whatever, anywhere. All the things that you're worried about are just gone in a couple of hours. You hop on the bike and you just disappear. It comes from that place of junk and what, finding treasure in something that's been kind of forgotten and trying to keep it alive and, and bring it back and run with it. And really, I wasn't getting as much of that in my life as I wanted. I really didn't want to work for anybody. I hadn't really had a regular job in a long time. I've just been working on stuff for people and doing odd jobs. And we've been really hitting the scrapping and towing pretty hard. We both ended up in Southern Oregon and both have junk fever. And that's just sort of been a guiding principle for everything that we've done out here. And it's majestic, huge mountains, big ass trees, you know, wide open areas. And, and you just look around here and you just take a deep breath while you're hauling ass and you're like, hell yeah. You know, even though I can't pay my bills and I just got stressed out because my girl left me or whatever, like, you know, I'm hauling ass. I'm never gonna say I'm an expert on any of it, but um, I grew up around Triumph and BSA bikes from when I was a little kid. My dad was a, a nut for him. Uh, one of the bikes we had out yesterday was uh, one that he built from parts, put it all together back to bone stock. One of the most beautiful examples of a stock Triumph that, you know, in my, I mean, of course it's my dad's bike, so I'm gonna say it's, it's the best one. But uh, the other one was a, a 69 BSA, um, and it's more of a desert sled, off-road ripper bike, which is really what I think. I'm into the most is bikes that are meant to be ridden and bikes that are meant to just be romped through the woods. Obviously, we got to make a living, right? And we got dreams and we like the stuff that we do to make money, right? So there's some development there, but I think the big move for us now is we've got our shop dialed in where we can pull rigs in and take them from this piece of junk we found and turn them into something really special.